Alright y'all, so this is my little reset day. As you can tell, I just ended up cleaning up the whole entire apartment. Now, well actually, it's after the bedroom, but I'm not gonna end up doing that because we ultimately we fall asleep there, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. I just ended up grabbing my clothes, folding them as you just saw. And yeah, pretty much the entire bedroom is clean. So how y'all like in this video so far? It's pretty much just a little bit of a reset. I'm about to go in order though some Applebee's and that's gonna be our food. I wish I ate a little bit earlier when I woke up at six, but I did not. So I'm gonna end up eating this Applebee's and I normally get a steak. And how y'all like in the fit? I'm about to give y'all a little, a little fit, a little fit look because this one, this one a little too fire. A little bit. It's a little fire. You got white on white. Stop playing with them. This Oh, it's real good. I don't got my glasses on so I can't see nothing. Don't know if I look good or not, but I know the fit is fire. I'm not sure when we're gonna end up dropping Toby off, but more than likely whenever we do, I'm gonna take y'all along with me. And then also, I'm not sure whether we're gonna be picking up the food. So we pick up the food, y'all gonna come along. If we don't, it's just gonna pop up. I'll show y'all a little bit of my food, like a little clip. Then after that, pretty much tell y'all I have a video coming because I just ended up changing my work schedule. I wanna say, it should be changed in like two to three weeks. All right, guys, so we have to go pick up the Applebee's because it's cheaper. We really want to, um, like, when we were ordering it, it came out to like $55, and I picked two for $25. So I'm like, yeah, hell no. We're going to go pick up this food. And I thought we were going to drop Toby off, but we are not. We're just bringing him because we feel bad leaving him at home. The Toadsters because he got so happy to see us. So we right, took So him. I got the food right here. Hairspray should be in here, right here. I just don't know what color to get. And then I might do dark blonde. Oh, by the way, I just ended up dropping Toby off. Truly, 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 even, you know, like, cause for instance, like I know my five to nine video is slowly rising in views right now and it's about to be, I think it's like about to be at 80 right now. It's like at like 73, something like that. And it's rising on my daily, probably get like three to four views every day from it. And it's doing the best out of all my videos that I posted because the other videos after that ended up only getting like eight to six by like by now. You guys are going to see this video a little bit later because I record it like way differently. So which it helps me be able to post every single day. Basically, based on those alone, I just want to say that I'm very truly, truly, truly thankful, guys. I do not care about whether it's high whether it's low whether you know i got 781 subscribers but even though i know it came from my gaming videos and didn't come from my vlogs i'm just really really thankful grateful for every single single one of you that do end up watching this or even if you are new and you don't subscribe and you probably hate the video i'm still thankful for you for coming by watching a little bit of it and and hopefully enjoying your time if not Thanks for coming by still. I, the numbers really aren't getting to me. Like I said before, it used to, which is why I would be so on and off with it. But I'm so consistent now because I learned that the numbers don't matter. At the end of the day, there are people that are coming and they are watching. And whether they're consistent or new, at least they came, they showed support, they left a like. And I feel like I truly, like, I'm just, I'm just so happy and excited because I feel like, you know, the more I'm consistent with it and regardless of, like, I'm getting anything, any commission, like anything coming in, anything going out. It just feels so great and so fulfilling to me. Like I truly didn't realize that me doing this felt, feels so fulfilling regardless of anything. Like another thing too, I got this journal. This was supposed to be like my 2023 journal. And I ended up using it a little bit into 2024 because like, I still had a couple pages left. So I put like dash 2024. The problem is though, is that I'm running out of pages. I wanna say I probably got like seven pages and I think that's like 14 days I can put left and then I'm gonna need a new notebook, which I got right here to be my next journal. But the problem is, is for some reason I lost the motivation of journaling once I started running out of pages. Like I, for some reason, I just don't wanna start in a different book. And I don't know why, because it probably would feel better to do it like that. But now I just I just don't want to start in a different book. So it's slowing me down, but I'm going to try to get back into this. Also, I'm trying to, like I said, get back into reading the Bible. I've been slacking, but this is my schedule. But like I said, my schedule is going to end up changing pretty much soon. And when it ends up changing, I think it will be more easier for me to really stick to the schedule of like, you know, like film journaling and reading the Bible. Like I think it will be way easier once my schedule ends up changing and stuff like that. But as of right now, I'm like stuck in this, like this, this loop of like, okay, wake up. What am I gonna film today? Film it. And then it's like, 
I know I can't get to it. Like it truly feels like I can't get to it. But at the end of the day, I gotta put them first. So I gotta stop acting like that. But once I get my schedule good, I'm gonna be chilling. So I cannot wait. And sorry if y'all see me looking at me and then look at the camera. The problem is that the ring light, like if I put my glasses on, you can see the ring light like in the back. And when I look at the camera lens, the ring light is to the left of it. And my eyes are so bad with light. Like my doctor told me I'm gonna be affected by this for the rest of my life. So the fact that it's like right in my eyesight hurts so bad right now. I just want to mention something that I realized when highlighting um well not necessarily realized but that I wanted to point out with Candace when Ham ended up seeing um Noah's nakedness and then telling his brothers I've always wondered what that meant because some people take it for face value some people think it was another thing what that means and I guess one day like I guess we'll never truly know until you know we end up passing away and we're able to ask these questions but I just always thought that was pretty cool. Like, I just wonder what necessarily was his nakedness. Was his nakedness a symbol of something bad that he's done? Or was his nakedness, um, like, was he truly just naked? And he was just like, look, he's naked. Like, I'm just wondering necessarily what that was. And it's crazy that, you know, we'll never know until we end up passing away. How he ends up blaming, I mean, I mean um, cursing Cannon instead of cursing him. And I guess basically what they said when I had looked that up was that he wanted to curse the generation of Ham's kids. So not necessarily that. I mean, some people think that Cannon might have been a part of it and that's why he decided to curse Cannon. But I guess it was to basically say that I'm cursing your generation. It was ultimately, it's basically cursing him by cursing his generation. You know what I'm saying? And then also too, he can't really curse him because God has already blessed him. So the only person he could really curse was Cannon and then his kids to come from. And when, as you guys know, the Canaanites were all bad. It says the days he lived to after the flood was 350 years and then he ended up dying after making 950 years like he was 950 years old that is crazy i wonder has anyone in the bible lived up to a thousand years that must have been wild to live up to a thousand years if he did like you must have been like like you was old for real i just i wonder how they looked like i wonder if it was more like um like how we age and we obviously start looking like like wrinkly and old by like um you know by probably like 60 70 i wonder if they started looking old by like their 800s or were they did they look old by that like 50 62 and then they you know they just looked way older yeah doing doing that trash is crazy oh that's just way too damn far way too damn far and slacking on my stretches on so my back is killing me because my job is pretty much physical depending on what day of the week on what i'm going to be doing because i work in a warehouse but basically pretty much physical so like i said i've showed you guys in the other video i barely can do this so i'm truly trying to learn how to because i think i was told you're supposed to like go to where it starts to hurt a little bit well not hurt but to where you know you're stretching it and then you stay there for like 30 seconds and you keep doing that and eventually i guess it, it will allow it because you're basically stretching the area so it would allow it to um go more forward because my back always be killing me and i'm too, I'm too young for to have back problems i so i've been making sure that i'm stretching the back touch their thighs bro when they do this that is wild like i don't know what the hell you be going through to be able to go all the way down like that i think i just broke my knee i think this one gets the middle and also the top and it's real simple, you know, normally people, this is the stretch that normally people do. But then you got the other one, which I don't really like the position of the other one because it look kind of crazy. You just lay on your back and you throw your legs side to side and I'll get the lower back. So that's normally what I do. And then also too, there's one where you literally just sit like this where you got to be like, let me put this down real quick. We got to have your toes like that because people don't stretch their, um, like a lot of people don't stretch their, their feet because... I forgot what it's called, but it's called pancreas something. You can get something wrong with your feet for not stretching them. And it's like your foot is trying to like be flat or something. So ultimately, these are the type of stretches I be doing. And 
it works, it feels great, helps my body. Um, normally my body would feel terrible, like terrible. And so I started doing these stretches and it feels better. And then also too, I feel like since I've been taking my vitamins, cause I know there's vitamins inside of Ensure. I have like all the energy in the world, like I feel nothing now, but without my vitamins, without stretching, without sunlight, bro, it is exhausting, like my body feels terrible. All right, I'm gonna end this video right here. I feel like these vlogs end up coming out really, really short. But then again, there's nothing I could do about that because at the end of the day, I always be home. And then on top of that too, I still use my phone to edit and I don't really have that much good phone storage. So the most I can do is probably like 12 minute videos, but as soon as it hits 15 to 20, my phone don't even want to download the video no more because my storage phone, like my phone storage is crazy. I got too much stuff on my phone. I have a laptop. I just don't like this laptop. I'm gonna try to get, Um, I want to get a, what is it called? Oh, I want to get an Apple. Is it Apple Mac or Air Mac? I don't, I don't think I'm saying it right, regardless. But I'm trying to get an Apple computer. That's that's what I'm going to call it because I forgot what the hell it's called. Damn sure I'm going to be editing through there. I'm going to end up getting a camera too at that time so my quality can look way better. I don't think my quality looks too bad. I think you can just definitely tell that it'd be on a phone. But at least I'm trying, y'all. Regardless, I'm not, I don't want to spend too much bread and I don't stick with it. I want to be consistent first. Then I'm going to get me that. And then I'm gonna get me that laptop. Well, I wanna get the laptop regardless, but I'm gonna end this vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had a good time this vlog. And peace.